to sing a song which we used to sing when we were small uh, but it's okay it's just cold today but it's all right um, boys and girls it's father's day today okay uh, maybe in other countries it was done some time ago but I know in Zimbabwe it's father's day today uh, so we want to do something for dads uh, if there's, if the dad is near you uh, this morning uh, or afternoon or evening, I would like you to go and ask dad to come so that we pray. You can put your hands on dad and we pray for them. If dad is not there, uh, we can just remember them in prayer. We can commit them to Jesus. Um, if uh, you don't have any dad, there's an uncle or there's someone who is uh, like a father in your home. So we want to pray for them. Father, in Jesus' name, we want to thank you for the fathers in our lives. We want to commit them to you this day. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Grant them the desires of their hearts. Help them as they look after us, provide for us with moms. Lord, be good to them. Bless them in every possible way. Pray that, Lord, those who don't know you, who are not Jesus' friends, we pray that, Lord Jesus, they can be your friend. So, Father, uh, for the children who don't have dads, we pray for them. Thank you that you say in your word you are the father to the fatherless. That, Lord, they can come to you in prayer and talk to you about things which their fathers can't do because they are not there. We love you and we bless your name. Amen. Amen. So, boys and girls, we are continuing today uh, talking about prayer. Uh, this is our last week uh, as we talk about prayer. Last week, remember, I said, don't give up, keep pressing, keep going before the Lord uh, with an issue. But I just also want to remind you of something that is important before we go into God's word. Boys and girls, it is important to read the Bible. It is important to know what is in the Bible. It's important to know what the Bible says about whatever you are praying about. So, Hide God's word in your heart. Read the Bible. There are promises that are in God's word. Now, if you don't know about those promises, sometimes you don't know what to say. So you just pray the usual. Remember I said to you a few weeks ago, some people just open their mouth, blah, 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 and that's not praying. That's like a making noise, I think. So, it is important to know what God's word says. So that's why we must read the Bible all the time. Memorize scripture, okay? Um, and if you do, and when you pray, you can say, Lord, remember what the Bible says in this book. It says something like this. You will never leave me or forsake me. There's, a, the, there's an old man called David. He says, I was young. Now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. near their children begging for bread. Ah, okay. Lord, we don't have bread. That's what the Bible says. So it is important to know what scripture says. So let's go to the Bible. Let's go to the Bible, boys and girls. Uh, we're going to read from the book of uh, Luke chapter 18 from verse 15. Now they were bringing infants to him that he might touch them. Even infants. Some Bibles say children. And when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. Oh, <laughs> here are child, children being brought to Jesus by their parents. And what does Jesus' disciples do? He says, oh, don't bring them here. Don't bring them here. No, no, no. You're disturbing Jesus. Don't do that. Uh, 
Ah, yeah, yeah. Boys and girls, let me tell you. Jesus wants to have a relationship with you. He wants you to come to him. Okay? And talk to him in prayer. Just, Jesus, I have come. I don't know what to say. But, yeah, I've come. Let's talk. Okay? But these disciples were trying to stop. But th this is what Jesus says. But Jesus, in verse 16, but Jesus called them to him saying, let the children come to me and do not hinder them. That means don't stop them. For such belongs the kingdom of God. So, Loving Jesus is not for old people only. It's not for those who are... Mm, uh -uh. Such is the kingdom of God. Children are very important to Jesus. So, he couldn't allow the disciples to stop children coming to him. It goes on further, it says, Truly I say to you, Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. What is it about children? What is it about you boys and girls? It's because you are very forgiving. Quickly, you forgive. Okay? If someone wrongs you, you don't spend the whole day keeping it. What is it about you? Boys and girls, you trust. You know... I'm trying to think, have you ever had a baby when the mother was trying to give them milk and the baby goes, Mmm, mommy, is this milk poisonous? Is this milk from this company? Where did you buy this milk? How much? They just drink the milk. They don't ask those questions. Now, I just said to you the there are promises in God's word. Now, children have no problem understanding that for God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus, that whosoever, whoever believes in him will not perish but have a, have a everlasting life. Children have no problem believing that Jesus came from heaven to earth to die to save us from sin. And that Jesus is able to do anything. When I was a young man, when I was small, when I started teaching Sunday school, I used to ask children to pray for me. I'd go before the children and ask them to lay hands on me. Because I knew these guys have no problem believing God, that God is able to do it. That's something about you boys and girls. That... That's why Jesus is saying, let them come. And for us adults to be like you when it comes to the things of God, that it's, it's not complicated to come before God. You can go before God and talk to him. You guys, when you go before your mom or your dad, do you, when you want to talk to them, do you go like this? Oh, oh God. Do you do things like that? No. You just talk to them. How are you, Dad? So that's what... Us adults, we make things very, very difficult. We make it complicated. But you guys, make life. The kingdom of God is so simple. It's, you can approach God in a simple way. But when you get old like me, we make things very difficult. Even to believe what the Bible says. For adults, it may be very difficult. But for you, it is that easy. You can believe what God says. So don't miss that. Believe that. When you come before God, when you pray, be like a child. Okay? Let's go to the next scripture. This one is in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. This is what it says. I urge you then, first of all, petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. Hey, hey. 
he is not suggesting, this is Paul, he is not suggesting that, ah, maybe pray. No. He is urging us, he is telling us that, please, pray for all people, for kings and all those in authority. Now we call them presidents, prime ministers and things, that we may live peacefully and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Boys and girls, it's important to pray for those in authority, the ministers, the headmasters, the school prefects, all these people who are in authority, we must pray for them. Okay? Your mom and your dad, how many of you pray for mom and dad? You must pray for them. You must talk to Jesus about them because they have authority over you. Okay? You must wake up and pray. I'll tell you later how we can pray, but it's important, boys and girls, to talk to God about this. This is good, and it pleases God, our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Why should we pray for those in authority? Why should we pray for presidents and kings and prime ministers and things? So that God wants them to come he wants them to be saved. Those who are not saved. He wants them to know Jesus. Those who don't know. Because if those people don't know Jesus, things are going to be very difficult for you and me. So it's important for us to pray for them. So that Jesus can touch them and they become Jesus' friend. Okay? So God does not want anybody to go to that place called hell. He wants everybody to be saved. So boys and girls, when we pray, it's important to pray for all these people in authority. Okay? Let's, the last, I'm not going to read the whole of uh, John chapter 17 from verse 6 to 26. It's a long, but this is Jesus. He's praying for his disciples. I mean, I want you to go to it. It's in John chapter 17 verse 6. To 26. Jesus was now praying for his disciples, okay? So, I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me. They have obeyed your word. Are you obeying God's word, boys and girls? Now, they know that you, they know that everything uh, you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the words you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. This is Jesus praying for these disciples. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given me. For they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in this world. Boys and girls, Jesus went to heaven. We are still here. I'm coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name. Boys and girls, that's why when we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus. Yeah? So when you pray, when you talk to God, at the end we say, in the name of Jesus. Because we can't pray in any other name. That's the name that is powerful. That is the name that can change things. When you mention the name of Jesus, things happen. So, yeah, I want to say to you, when you pray, somewhere in your prayer, talk about the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. Are we together, boys and girls? So, Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. Mm. While I was with them, I protected them. 
I kept them safe by the name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction so that scripture would be fulfilled. You know Judas who decided to betray him. Boys and girls, I want to challenge you today when we pray this name of Jesus. Jesus is praying for his disciples, but I want when we say in the name of Jesus, Amen, there is power in that name. Okay? I used to tell children many years ago that if the shortest prayer you can make is shouting the name of Jesus, just shouting the name of Jesus, that is the shortest prayer you can make. <laughs> that Jesus! Because that is the name that can move things. You can't pray. In, Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Way to where? Way to God. We want to get to God, we can only go through Him. We want to talk to God, He is the way to get us to the Father. So in our praying, for those in authority, the only way we can do it properly is when we mention the name of Jesus. I'm going to complete. Remember what we said. Those who are close to us, that's the family. We pray for... Just to remind you, think of your fingers. We pray for family, for friends, for those who are special to us. Like today you pray for dads, okay? We pray for those who point us to Christ, okay? Those who point us to Christ, who tell us like Uncle Jeff is telling you right now. So pray for me, pray for Pastor Muneza, pray for Pastor Wazara, pray for the pastors, the elders, pray for the Sunday school teachers, okay? Uh, the Pastor Chiokas, the... Pray for them, okay? Let's pray for those who point us to Christ. There are some teachers who point you to Christ. Pray for them. Now this one, this next finger, okay? It's the tallest if you look at it, okay? It's the tallest. We pray for those in authority, like the Bible says uh, in Luke, uh, in First Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, that we should pray for those in authority. So you pray for leaders, those in authority, those who lead you, headmasters, whatever, whatever, presidents, prime ministers, we pray for them. We ask God for them because God wants every one of them to be saved. The next one is the one of the weak fingers. A weak one, but that's where my ring is. Okay. Now, that's the weak, the sick. Okay. Uh, remember to pray for that grandma who's not well. Remember, during this COVID time, there are many people who are not well. So let's pray for them, okay? There are those boys and girls, as we celebrate fathers today, they don't have fathers. Let's remember those boys and girls who don't have dads, that Lord be with them, protect them, provide for them, give them the things they need, okay? So there are people who have no place to stay. They have no homes. They sleep. There are people who are hungry, boys and girls. When we think of this finger, let's pray for all those people. And the last one, boys and girls, pray for yourself. Okay? Ask God for whatever. I have just told you Jesus wants you to come to him. Go to him. Jump. Also. Pretend like you're jumping on his feet. <laughs> Jesus, I have come. Let's talk. Let's talk. Mm, let's talk. Whatever he has. You can talk to him about it. That's, I, I, I don't know how to say it, boys and girls, but it's important to know that Jesus loves you so much. He wants you to come to him. That's why he stopped those disciples who were trying to stop children coming to him. So he wants you to come. So come to him every day. Come to him whenever, you, whether you are going to the shops, you are in a supermarket, come to Jesus. Just quietly talk to him and say, Lord, things are not well here. I'm not feeling okay. What I'm seeing is not right. Let's talk to Jesus, boys and girls, every day, anytime, anyway. Approach him. He is ready for you. He wants you to come. He loves you so much. So let's, we're going to pray as we close. Father, I want to thank you for the boys and girls. I thank you that you love them so much that you want them to come to you. Lord, help us as children uh, 
to just pray for those in authority, to pray for those who are not well, to pray for those who are suffering, to pray for our families and relatives and everyone. Lord, just to come before you and commit all these things to you. Help us to remember all the time that we can come, we can run to Jesus, we can mention the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for every boy, for every girl, Lord, that they can come to you. We pray for the dads, the fathers today, we commit them to you. We love you so much, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 So, boys and girls, God bless you. God bless you.